All right, there we go. You can't see it very well, but it's on there. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Right, guys today I am out in Middleburg Heights I've actually come down here for something completely different and I'm two miles from where I was going and uh, I saw the Middleburg Heights Big K off the highway here so of course I couldn't resist stopping to film it I know a lot of other people have filmed this too but you know I want to see these places for myself and, uh, and like I said before, you know, now's the time we need to be documenting these things because Kmarts are going to be a thing of the past. But I wanted to come up here to the road first and see this sign that is still out front. Look at this thing. That is awesome. I'm kind of surprised that that's actually still there. Or at least the, uh, the lettering, the big K in the Kmart. Let's see, yep, it's on both sides still. So, huh, kind of crazy to see this sign here and then the, uh, the empty abandoned Kmart in the background. All right, let's go up here and take a closer look at this place. I'm actually out here today to go to an RV show because uh, I've mentioned this on my other channel, but I don't know how much I brought it up on here. I'm going to be buying an RV soon and uh, traveling, living on the road and filming all these places wherever I go. So there's gonna be tons and tons of awesome content coming. I'm so excited. I cannot wait to get out there and just have free reign of the world to go film all these places. And there it is, guys. That's the front entrance. The Big K label scar up there. That is always a sight to see. On the... Uh, the doors up here, you can see we still have the hello signs. And I'm glad the, the windows aren't papered over. Let's see what we can see inside, if anything. Fans. And of course, somebody being nosy. Drive on, Mr. Nosy. <laughs> Can't really see much better reflection. There's the hello. I actually have one of these stickers at home. And you can see a little bit in there. There's a little bit of the sales floor and the front desk there, customer service. And there's me. Excuse me, are you Nate Guy fans? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wish you guys could see as well as I can just looking through the windows here because you can see the whole sales floor and back in the back there's light coming from a door back there. Let me see if I can get that. Yeah, there you go on, on the left side there. It would be so cool to just be able to go in there and walk around a little bit. Alright, let's step out here for a minute because I did see the pharmacy label scar up here. Here it is. Yeah, you can see it pretty clearly. You know, now that I think about it, I actually came out to this Kmart to film one night with Richard and Kara Wolf. I think we came out here to find some abandoned building, but there was security all around it. Because I remember we got here, uh, it was when they were closing, but I mean, they were literally closing for the night. So we went up to the doors and they had just locked them. But I remember these big planters out front of uh, fur feather, fin feather fur outfitters over there. Because I remember thinking, what do they have those out there for? You know, they usually put those up or something like it to kind of block people from driving around. All right, guys. So tonight I am out here in Cleveland. We're at Middleburg Heights. Got Richard Wolf here and Kara. Where the heck is she? Oh, back there. And I'm just gonna start filming our adventure because we came out here to film one specific thing and we couldn't get it done. And uh, so we're just kind of driving around looking for stuff to film right now. Here's a fur, what is it called? Fin Feather Fur Outfitters right here. 
that is attached to a closing big Kmart down there. But we got here too late, so we can't go in the Kmart. So what is it actually in here? I mean, is this actually weird? Because it almost looks like it's not even open. I mean, just, and I, the reason I say that is because of these things here. It's blocking the whole entrance all the way down. Even though you can easily walk through here, it's just really strange that they have those up there. Oh well, let's continue on our journey and see where it takes us. Hopefully, blah, blah, hopefully somewhere good. It must be like a curse when I'm with you guys, I can't talk. I'm always like, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> <laughs> Let me give you a quick shot of the big Kmart here before we go. Yeah, that's kind of strange. I thought I had never been to this one before, but that was the one time with Richard and Kara. I think we did a lot of night exploring that night. Look at that picture right there with the clouds in the background. Just crazy to see that big label scar up there. All right, let's go walk down through here a minute. Go down and see the prison yard. Looks like part of it's falling apart. These pillars are actually in pretty decent shape through here. Some of these that I've been to, they're just obliterated. You know, people pulling up to dump stuff off and they back into them and big holes and falling apart. A couple of label scars up here. Just the usual things you see at the Kmarts. All right, this would have been the garden center down here. And we got the prison yard coming up. At, oh my God. I wonder if somebody backed into that. Huh. That looks kind of strange. It looks like this part was built on. Like the building used to stop right here. And then they actually built onto it right here. All right, guys, look, I got to put my mark on here. David's Retail Adventures. What does this one say? I don't know. It's something. I don't know what that one says. But look, we got Terry Allen up here. Terry Allen Explorers. Uh, what else? Anything else? I can't read half of these. I'm going to have to put my mark up here, though. Hold on. There we go. You can't see it very well, but it's on there. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> yeah, so anyways, it kind of looks like this part here was actually built on later on. And here's the prison yard. Wow, that's... That's really weird. Like, what the heck? I don't think I've ever seen wood like that before. Look at how this is just bent over. Um... I'm going to have to go back and watch some of these guys' videos about this place because I could swear I've watched them before, but none of this looks familiar. This just looks really awkward to me. Hmm. All right, let's go around the back here a minute. Auto center. Oh, maybe we can peek in the window here. Looks like they got like tape or paper or something up over most of these. I think we can see in this one though. And a little bit. Just wide open in there. Can't see very well. Let's keep on moving here. Hmm. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything to be seen back here in the back. There's a compactor down there, but I believe that's actually... No, I think that's still part of Kmart down there. We got that Thin Feather Fur Outfitters down there. I thought that was maybe part of that, but that's definitely still part of the Kmart. So, all right. Let's go on back around the front here. 
I'm so glad I took this route and found this place while my GPS brought me out here. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, because I was thinking after I get done with this RV show today, I'm going to run around out here and see if I can find a few places to film. And what do you know? I looked to the right and there was a big red K. Alright guys, one more look at it here. While I head on out to the car, i got to get over to this place. But there it is. Middleburg Heights Big K. Alright guys, I'm out. Peace.